Okay, so this is what happened. Sorry about the last take. The sound didn't work. I don't know why. All right, so I get off work. I'm hungry. I pull into my deli, which is half a block from the house. The place is jammed. The parking lot's full. I have to park way at the end. I walk past this limo, never give it another thought. I go inside. The owner's there. I say, hey, man, can, can, can you find a place for me? He says, uh, we're kind of full, but we, you don't mind eating alone in the back? I said, no, I'm, I'm cool with that. I eat alone every meal, man. What the hell? So he says, sure, okay. So the waiter takes me in the back, sits me against the wall, a little table for two people, right? I'm sitting by myself. I happen to be facing the opening to the larger restaurant. This is like a banquet room in the, in the back. I just ordered my iced tea. I'm looking at the menu. In come these two gigantic dudes, and I mean like, like football big, like bigger than Alexander, my grandson. Can you imagine that? Anyway, they, they walk in and uh, they look around. One of them gets on the phone. They step out of the room, and a couple of minutes later, in floats Meryl Streep, Sandra Bullock, Bradley Cooper, and some other dude, I don't know. They sit down. At a table for six, there's a three of the, the four of them, and me sitting right across from them at this little table by myself. So I kind of sheepishly wave hello and they wave back. And the security guard is staring at me, so I figured, what the hell? So I asked. I said, you know, I'm eating alone. Would you mind if I joined you? And the security guard steps in and says, sir, they're, they're trying to enjoy their meal. Can you respect that? I said, no, of course I, of course, I'm sorry. I just, you know, when am I ever going to see this again? So I thought I'd ask. Mr. Cooper says, oh, let him come over. So I said, really? He says, yeah, sure. So I, he motions me over, so I get up, and I'm looking at the security guy who looks like he could snap my neck, you know, like a toothpick. He sits, he, I, he, I sit down. I'm sitting across from Sandra Bullock. Being recently single, it's like hanging a chunk of hamburger in front of a hungry lion. But I'm maintaining my cool because Mr. No Neck is over there grinding his teeth, waiting to kill me. So uh, I still have my work badge on. And they say, what's, what's this desert, blind, and handicap? What's that? So I told them what I do, and they said, oh, there's no such a thing existed. I said, yeah, it's a very, very worthy organization, and we do a lot of work for a lot of nice people here in the desert. So uh, I, I said, I guess you guys are all in town for the, for the film festival. They said, yep, yep. Um, we're trying to fly home tonight, but everything's jammed at the airport. There's so many planes waiting to go that were stacked up, and we can't leave like we wanted to, so we thought we'd grab a bite. And the driver said, this is a nice place to have some nosh. So I said, yeah, it's the best deli in the, in, in the, in the desert. So, which isn't really true, but, you know, Sherman's was already on the other side of town, and we were already sitting down, and I'd already had my tea, so. And I didn't think they were going to give me a ride anywhere, so I didn't want to follow them and stalk them. So we, they ordered some corned beef and pastrami's, and so I had my pastrami and rye. And uh, they're just ordinary folks, man. They're just nice people. And Sandra Bullock has just dropped it gorgeous. She's the prettiest thing. Oh my goodness. And Meryl Streep is such a, such, so regal, so just, you know, so, so beautiful, so beautiful. Real Hollywood starlet. Star, I shouldn't say starlet. So I looked at uh, Miss, Miss Bullock and I says, uh, you know that my wife always considered you America's sweetheart. And she says, where's your wife? I said, well, well we had passes to go to the event, but I gave them away. We, we, we bought them last year. We tried to go, but last time we tried, she was too sick. And she says, what did you give them away? I said, well, you know, she, she passed in August. And, and she, she offered condolences. And I said, yeah, well, that's why I'm eating alone. That's why I eat all the time alone. So I really appreciate this. This is the first meal I've had with somebody in quite a long time. So quite a treat. Way to start off the year. So that, folks, is a story. So what can you, what can you draw from this? Obviously, I'm a babe magnet. Hmm? First meal with girls after I'm, I'm widowed, and who am I eating with? Not one, but two Hollywood stars. Hola muchachas, you missed your opportunity. <laughs> Just having fun, guys. With 